hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video so if you're new here kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here thanks so much for coming back again so i'm very glad and excited to tell you that my channel just got 1000 subscribers and i want to use this opportunity to thank you all and also my channel is one year older i wish i had the equipment to make a video and thanking you for all these bets quite unfortunately i'm not having it so i want to use this medium to thank you all so much i appreciate your support keep it coming and keep praying for me so in this video i'm going to show you how to make an ad flyer for let's say if you are selling something online or let's say you want to post it on your instagram or facebook or any where you can just use this particular tutorial to create a simple flyer for your business so without further ado let's get into the video i also want to tell you that this is the first video that is being sponsored by um, a friend of mine i'm actually doing this flyer for him i've already done it for him so i'm using this tutorial to teach you guys how to do it so i'm going to select the a4 size paper and i'm going to click ok when i'm done now i'll first of all add a solid color preferably something like this okay somewhere around here you can you can use your own colors if you don't mind so i'll click ok and then his ad is basically about watches so i'll go to place and then i'm going to i'm going to make use of this for um watches over here so the first one that i'll use for the background is this particular watch so i'll import it right click and go to rasterize and then i'll take it up over here now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to press ctrl t and resize it smaller like this and i'll make sure that it is in the center of it and i'll press ctrl j to make a duplicate close that one and then i'm going to rasterize out uh, let's say i'm going to apply a gaussian blur on this particular so i'm using it as a background so i have to make it something yeah something like this and then i'll click ok i'll then turn on the first one that i turned off and then push it small like this so i would it will be like i have the background and i have this particular also here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my rectangle tool and draw a nice rectangle somewhere around here a very smaller one and then i'm going to change the color to white and then i'll come and pick the rounded rectangle go and make the radius about 80 and then i'll draw a nice one also over here very simple like that so that one also will be white in color because we will just be inserting the watches in it so it doesn't matter the type of color that you choose so i'll make two more duplicates of it let's say one here and another one also here so you can just select the three group them and let's say you call them rectangle let me call them rectangle or let's say rounded rectangle it is very good to be grouping your works when you are using photoshop just because you won't get um, many layers like some people will be having so much more layers it's not good so i'll advise you group your works or your layers anytime you are working in photoshop so we go ahead and select the first rectangle like this and then we go to place or file and then place and then we're going to place the first watch so i'll place this first watch over here anytime you bring it in you rasterize it and then you right click and go to create clipping mask clipping mask yeah so you bring it over here and then press ctrl t to resize it so that it can just fit in very well so like that let me zoom in so that you can see it clearly 
so something like this and then so i'm going to do the same thing for the two and i'm pretty sure you got it right so i'll just fast forward the two that i'm going to do Okay, so when you're done like this, all that you need to do is take your time and position it somewhere around here. You can just place it in the middle or in the center. Yeah. And then we're going to add the name of this particular um, company. Let's say company. Please don't mind the activate go to blah, blah, blah. blah. He sent me the watches, so I'm just using it. Okay, so I'm going to select the test tool. And over here, I'm going to write um, the name of his company or let's say his work so cb easy and i'm going to change the font to a vertical interact if you've been watching my tutorials for quite a long period you know that a vertical interact is so far my favorite font i use it in almost all my tutorials so you can push it up small like open it small and then we're going to apply some effect on it. So you go to the blending options. And then, first of all, you drop some stroke. You set it to about anywhere from 15, let's say 15 or 18, anywhere from 15 to 20. And then you go to the outer glow. And the outer glow, you're going to pick a color from within this one so let's say somewhere around here and then we're going to increase the size so that it shines more and then the spread we're going to increase that one too so that it shines so let's make this one a little bit deeper okay so you increase the spread in the size nice one there and then you drop some little shadows also you can increase increase it yeah and then finally some gradient overlay on top of this one and then we're going to decrease the opacity to about 15 10 to 15 anywhere from that it's okay so when you're done you just click over here and then so that the layers won't be many and the next one that we're going to add is the watches so because so the name will be cb easy watches All right okay so i'm going to change this also to messenger pigeons that one also is one of my favorites and then you increase it out like this you right click and go to blending options and then you drop some shadows so that it will look nice over there so you click ok when you are done with everything and then this particular thing that I'm doing, um, according to my friend, is a door-to-door -door service. So they are not offering, let's say, they are not having a particular place that they are doing it. So when you call them, you just send it over to your door if you're living in Ghana. So I'll then go ahead and change this one to Acrobat. And then I'll make this one bold like that so i'm going to edit these two door okay door to door service so i'm going to resize this my machine is running a bit slow so pardon me okay so as you can see over here the cbz was a very bold font that's why so we have to go and decrease the stroke and everything so let's decrease the stroke to about 10 and then the outer glow we decrease that one to both the spread and the size so that yes it looks nice okay so the next one that i'm going to do is that he delivers free 
of charge to those around Kumase and its environs. So I'll create something over here to indicate that one. So a nice rectangle over here. And then I'll change the color to white. I'll make sure that it's in the center of the documents. And then I'll zoom in to write something over there also. So I'll select my test to Facebook or wherever that you want to upload this one. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please don't hesitate to give it a like. And if it was not helpful, please give it a thumbs down and let me know in the comment section why this video wasn't helpful or why it was helpful. I'll be very glad to know in order to improve my way of bringing up the tutorials. And once again, thank you so much for being supportive. And for 1,000 subscribers, I hope you are going far from here. Our next target will be 2,000 or 1,500 subscribers. And I hope it will come very soon. Thank you so much for watching once again. I'll catch you in the next video. Innocent here. Bye.